In this video, we will learn the strategies to work with arc tan or tan inverse ratios. Let us enjoy this journey of learning. Thank you. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent comments and suggestions. Here is a question which comes from our IBHL student who needs to solve inverse trigonometric function related questions. We'll share with you four questions here. The first one here you see is A equals to tan inverse 1 over 3 plus tan inverse half. We need to find the value of A. Very similar to this is our second question, the tan we have written inverse as arc tan. So arc tan is same as tan inverse. So arc tan 2 over 3 plus arc tan 3 over 2. Then we have a question which is involving arc tan 1 over 3 minus arc tan 2. And the last question here is arc tan 2 plus arc tan 3. All solutions are very similar. However, there is a very important thing to consider, which is why I am showing you all the four examples. Let me begin with the solution of the very first one. Uh, let's see, how do we solve it? Now, to solve this particular type of equation, what we need to do is understand that what is tan formula for tan of, let's say, alpha plus beta. So we know tan alpha plus beta is tan alpha plus tan beta over 1 minus tan alpha beta, right? Tan alpha, tan beta. If we have minus here, in that case, the science reverses and the formula becomes that. So now you see with this formula, you can actually solve all the four questions. Okay, the very first one is tan inverse 1 over 3 plus tan inverse 1 over 2. So, if you consider the two triangles uh, where we could have alpha and beta as the two angles, uh, think like this. When we do tan inverse 1 over 3, so we get this particular triangle with the angle alpha. The other one here is tan inverse half which could be 1 over 2 and the angle is beta. You get the idea. So basically, the two expressions on the right, when you add them up, what you get is alpha and beta. And you see that alpha plus beta is greater than 0. It is positive, right? Now let us see how do we apply the formula. So if I say tan of A, then it will be tan of alpha plus beta. You get the idea, right? Because tan inverse of 1 over 3 is tan alpha, right? You see, tan inverse of 1 over 3 is tan of alpha, since we have drawn this triangle. And similarly, tan inverse of 1 over 2 is tan of beta. So when we take tan both sides, we get A equals to alpha plus beta, right? So we say A is actually equals to alpha plus beta. So we see if I take tan A here, it becomes tan alpha plus beta. And now we could write down the formula, which is tan alpha plus tan beta over 1 minus tan alpha beta. Right. So now we'll just substitute the values and try to find the value of tan A. So tan A is tan alpha, and we know tan alpha is 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2, right, over 1 minus product of these two. So which is 2 plus 3, right, over common denominator of 6, right, and here we get 3 times 2, 6, because 6 minus 1 over common denominator of 6, right? 
So these cancel and we are left with 2 plus 3 is 5 and 6 minus 1 is also 5. So we get 1. So now we can write down the answer. We know tan A is 1, right? So that means A equals to tan inverse of 1, which indeed is pi by 4, right? So we get pi by 4 as our answer. Is that clear to you, right? So that is how we are going to solve this particular question. And now let's look into the, the second question, which is right here, uh, based on the same concept. So we have got B as arc of tan 2 over 3 plus arc of tan 3 over 2. So you can say that let arc of tan 2 over 3, right? So basically, you can see that this is equal to, let's say alpha, right? So you know that this tan inverse, right? So tan alpha is 2 by 3. And similarly, you can say that tan beta is 3 by 2, right? So B basically is addition of uh, alpha plus beta, correct? So when you add them, we know this is greater than 0, right? So once again, we can take tangent on both sides. So we get tan B equals to tan of alpha plus tan of beta over 1 minus tan alpha tan beta, correct? So which in this case will be alpha is 2 over 3, right? So plus 3 over 2 over 1 minus 2 over 3 times 3 over 2, right? So what we get here is 2 plus 2 times 2 is 4 plus 9, right, over 3 times 2, which is 6. And here the common denominator is 1 minus 1, which is 0. So what we see here is that tan beta is 0, right? Since tan beta is 0, what do you expect? Well, so we, I mean, 1 over 0, right? So it is infinitely large, right? 1 over 0, right? something over 0, right? So it is equal to 13 over 0, which is infinitely large, right? So beta equals to pi by 2. So in this case, we get beta equals to pi by 2. So that is how we are going to answer this particular question. I hope it makes sense. Now I'm leaving the other two for you to answer. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. In case you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.